What's going on, my beautiful treeple? We're live right now on the road. I invite you to join me every berry as we take a quick plant venture and share with you today the best places to find free mulch. Join me. Using the physicality to the bell to growth of the spirituality Through nature, the creator, creature, the maker Remain visible, the truth, educating the youth to be fruitful In the vegetative mind, staying rooted in the bond Artificial to beneficial, we let the light shine destination we're gonna go to is the finely broken down mulch it's much smaller this is a place you can go if you guys are thinking about growing your own food or getting your garden started or a food forest like me I'm gonna share the places in this video if you are in the Lamert Park area we're gonna be doing videos in different areas Right now we're focused on Lamert Park or Southern Los Angeles, I'll say, because we're going to drive a few other places, but this is going to be the first episode. So we're driving down Obama Boulevard. Now we're coming up to La Cienega Boulevard. So Obama Boulevard and La Cienega Boulevard, where you guys know the target is. And that's where we are right now. So this first place has finer broken down mulch, which you can use to top grow, top dress. Um, if you're planning on growing in the ground and you have hard clay compacted soil, this is something that you can actually set down above that clay compacted soil and then after that you can place a bunch of food scraps and um, grass clippings, lots of nitrogen sources. And then you can put your wood chips. So I would recommend doing that if you're planting in the ground and it's hard clay soil. So we're driving down Obama Boulevard, we're passing Klausman Drive. Now this is a secret spot. I'm gonna make a left right here. This is Linawee Ave. As we drive 
drive down Lena We Ave. We're gonna come to the first stop sign. And we're gonna make a right right here on Bowcroft. Bowcroft Street. Spot that most people don't know about. It's a low key spot right here because it's all these warehouses and no one would even think that it's over here. I think I just saw some rain barrels for sale. All right, now we're on Bowcroft and Holdridge Avenue. Bowcroft Street and Holdridge Avenue. Look, I'm gonna keep driving down past these buses and trailers, and you can see right there it says City of Los Angeles Bureau of Sanitation Gold uh, Mulch Giveaway. It's made from yard trimmings. Okay, it says although the contents of this mulch have been screened, there may still be remains small portions of green waste material in the mulch use at your own discretion that's what the sign says that i passed free mulch giveaway another sign says open to the public and we're going to back up and show you guys all right everybody so as you can see this is the finely sifted mulch that's what it looks like come down and they just stacked a whole bunch right now so this is taking time to decompose Ooh, it's starting to sprinkle and as I grab this it's nice and warm this is plantable look at that so you can grow in it it's broken down now there are some areas where there may be plastics or rubbers or things like that rubber bands some different things like that you have to remember these are yard trimmings they may sweep up the the curbs or the sidewalks or the streets where they have the mulch so some of that stuff may get um, put in here but this is the first place as you see it says top grow mulch so this is mulch that you put on your topsoil or the upper half hubber first half you know the bottom you want to put you know compost things like that and then this is going to be more of your um, broken down mulch that you can grow in that you can mix in above you can you can actually put this on the bottom as well um, it doesn't matter because this is broken down and it'll just break down even more as you start to um, add more natural material so this is the first stop I'm gonna go ahead and load in and then I'm gonna go to the next spot. Hopefully it does not rain, so we can get out here real quick for you. All right, everybody, we are on 5 North Freeway, getting off on Griffin Park exit. And there's also another way to actually arrive this way we're probably going the I believe the back way so the sign says museums LA Zoo and this is where we're gonna make that right we're on Griffith Park Drive getting off 5 North about some pine trees one of the most powerful trees available to you out here because there's so many of them. They're out here in abundance. We're driving down this path. And we're going to take you now to the area where you can get the mulch that is not decomposed. So this is bigger and this is what you're going to use as the covering. So this is going to be what's going to go on top of your soil. So we went to our top grow mulch area, which could be used any layer of your soil, the bottom, the middle, the top, whatever, mixed in, because that's plantable in. Now we're going to go to 
the area that is not plantable, but you will put it on top. And over time, that will break down. And if you've been following me, you've seen that process because wood chips are alive. Termites attack dead wood. They do not attack living wood. Simple. sand and stuff like that right here but I believe that's for Griffin Park I don't think that's for the public although I've never thought to ask but there is sand over here which I just passed so I'm not sure though I can see that workers are planting wood chips around trees looks like they're planting it around the cassia trees I think that's what those are and I believe cassias are also nitrogen fixers they don't give you fruit I don't believe they do put out bean crops, uh, so they are, I think, in the Lagoon family. Um, so yeah, we're driving down.
chipped. And right here to my left is where we drive in. And we're gonna see if they have any wood chips. They do. So normally they'll have some right here, as you can see. And then they're gonna also have some behind me, which you can't see. But I'm gonna go ahead and back in. And we'll get out and share that with you. bonus footage for you guys we have the green sorry red castor bean tree which you could see the stems are red that's where the seeds will form and then they dry and become that and the seeds are inside of these these are the red We have thistle right here. You can see the beautiful flowers. As I grow milk thistle, I know what they look like, but this is a wild thistle. All those thorns. Whoa! Don't want to fall. Lots of wild natives out here. And right here we have the green. As you can see, the stem is green. Again, there's the pods, which are also green, like red. And then here's the green seed pods. They dry on there, you can see them. There's another one, I'll go ahead and get that. Ow, they hurt. <laughs> I think I've got enough. Some more thistles. I wanna show you guys this strikingly beautiful red castor bean. I don't know if you can see the red, but there it is. It's a darker red than where we picked the seeds from the other one because that one is not going to seed yet. And you can see all the thistle seeds. Whoa, look at that. They're everywhere. It's going to be like a million thistles. So if you want some free castor bean seeds, you come out here. There's the flowers. You can get a cold pressed uh, seed oil expeller and make your own castor oil. So, I'm not sure if you guys know, but castor oil is powerful. Our ancestors used it for decades. 
to get rid of issues to cleanse the body, you can research it. It's also good topically for hair, for skin. So it's, I mean, it's a toxic plant. I wouldn't eat it. These aren't beans that I would necessarily cook to consume, but you can make the oil and it's powerful. You can also use the plant as a chop and drop because it grows like a weed and it grows so easy, you can use it as green manure, green fertilizer, green mulch, nitrogen. You see, they're all growing right here. You can take these plants and propagate them out or whatever, or like I just did, I took the seeds. Now is probably the season, at least for this these plants. So I could come back and pick some more, but I think we got enough. This is our green. is all red. Now you know.